in the scorching heat, at half health and beaten, I was almost ready to give in, to almost give the hunt up. But ladies and gentlemen, before we can get to this part of the story, first, we have to go back to where it all started. See today, it was a good day. I was lucky enough to be birthed in as a lion, and being so small with no worries in the world, everything was good. I had the security of the pride, so down by the edge of the lake, I filled up, but only because the parents were so close. I had a brother and a sister. As some time would pass, and I was watching from afar, the pride was fighting a crocodile that also called this lake its home. They're doing all right, I wonder if they're gonna kill it. I mean, it can just go back in the water, so. I think it's killed one already though. Must be a tough crocodile. It's not an elder. The crocodile retreated back into the lake and the pride hunted elsewhere. To me, none of that mattered. I was safe and the food was delivered, but soon I would be a sub-adult lion. Another random female was joining the pride. For my entire life, I lived beside this lake and now I was an adult. After my broadcast, I went down and ate some legs. Later that night, I was wandering the pride's perimeter, but that's when I heard it, there was trouble. Whoa, crocodile up on the rock. Crocodile on the rock. Holy crap, does he hit hard. Put me in a half health on one hit. Man, they've changed. <laughs> Risk it now. You got a solid hit on me. I think he killed some of the babies up there. I think he might have. Yeah, he definitely killed someone up there. Didn't even see how he got up there. Oh. The leader of the pride, the head male, had been killed. This was a very powerful crocodile and not to be underestimated. Lions are dead. Yep, he killed the male. He killed Shadow? Yeah, he killed Shadow. That's a powerful croc, man. Is it an elder? I don't think it's an elder. It's just like a full attack build croc. He did a lot of killing. Well, let's rip part of him off, I guess. But the battle for territory, it didn't end there. Couple of hits on him. Holy crap, he does a lot of damage. He does a lot. Is that line dead? That line's dead. Holy crap, that's how much damage he does. Damn, he's just killed a second line. He's a freak. The majority of the pride had been killed. The crocodile was heading back for the lake. I wanted to try to get some final strikes in. Here we go. Alright, I gotta get out though. Maybe feeling it. <laughs> I was far too injured to continue, so it was time to abandon the lake. So we gathered what pride members we had left, and we moved on. One of the smaller cubs was ready to grow. I sat around to witness the event take place. We travelled far and wide in the wet, but in our travels, we stumbled across another pride of lions. Right over there. We do not have the numbers to fight a pride. We'll keep moving for now. 
We traversed the map, seeking water and food, and eventually found fish, close to the centre of the map, and in a dangerous area, but we stayed here, at the top of the river. I watched as the pride grew bigger, more cubs were introduced. Eventually we left this bit of the river, but after all our travelling, we ended up doing a circle. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where we were. This is where I was birthed in. This is where that crocodile is. I'm back here. After drinking, filling up and resting, I decided to log out for the day. And when I returned the next day, the pride had moved on long ago. I'm gonna leave that rock behind and actually do a little bit of exploring and hunting elsewhere. I think it's time. I was roaming solo and I was feeling good. Lion? I came across another solo lion who was friendly and two called me. I two called back. Looks like he's just a solo. No point fighting another line, especially when he did a two call first. No, no, no I'd rather. I, I want to find, like, I don't know, some zebras or something, that'd be awesome. I want to start the day by killing a friggin' line. Or getting killed by a line, even worse. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Line? Elder. Hunting for me. Oh my god. He's gonna try to kill me. Oh damn, that was close. Yeah, there. While I'm still alive. That elder was either thinking I was a female. Because <laughs> I accidentally hit the mate key. Or he was like, I'm gonna go kill that dude. But then he didn't find me, so it's all good. I'm definitely not hanging around there though. I wanna check out this bus and. This car wreck over here. This looks kind of cool. I think I've seen this one before. I've seen the other human strike. Oh, they just all rendered in. Yeah, I thought this is what I'd seen before. Definitely still all the same. Can I actually get up the stairs? Oh, yeah, I can. I if there's anything up here. I can't get inside. I can have a put, I can pop my head in. Why'd you have a lion just come up the stairs like that? Yeah. God oh, damn. I know I can't get in the back of that bus either from memory. Oh, you can now. <laughs> so they've worked on the bus, but they haven't worked on their bugs. Like, for instance, their biggest bug, key blinds, right? If you change your key blinds in this game, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> if you change the escape key, there's no way of getting it back for your main in face button. So I have to use insert for instance because I can't use escape after insert it click it off I can't just hit escape because there's no key blind for it the developers haven't fought that far ahead obviously it's like what the hell and it's been like that for I don't know five months so it kind of put me off the game I found a way around it but I shouldn't have to you know because it's ridiculous so yeah, if the developers happen to watch this video I highly recommend you guys fix your key blinds because they are broken very very broken and many other bugs. Stop pumping out more animals. Like, fix your bugs. It's too many of them. Every time I come back to this game, it's full of bugs. <laughs> I came back hoping after all these like little updates that I've seen, like they cleared cleared some of them up, but yeah, it's still pretty much the same. I just added more things in and DLCs, which is like really. Why are you adding DLCs? Yeah, I'll say that. Definitely. Alright, let's get out of here. I need to eat, I need to drink. So after my little rant about the game and all those problems that I had, I was ready to continue on and push forward. And that's when I made a little discovery. There's water over here. I didn't even know there was water out here, so this is kind of handy. Be a little careful, never know. Could be a pride of lions out here. If there is, well, that could easily be the end of me. I really want to find like a buffalo or something. That would be awesome. This is a cool little swampy area though, I'll give it that. Hello, 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 perfect. Oh man, I am so sorry. That you were about to provide me. Oh look, he's even running like one, like, just like in real life. I do feel a bit bad, but it had to be done. I'm a lion. I can't be walking past him. <laughs> oh no, baby rhino man. On the menu. Can't quite remember how long the bodies last in this game. I think they ra last a reasonable amount of time. And I am on a private server, so... Because there is no official service for this game. It's sort of forced to play on private with their rules. 
The rules here seem alright anyway. They're just the pretty basic rules, you know. Three gold body rules. Don't enter water. Rules like that. Don't abuse glitches. Yeah, they're pretty straightforward in all these survival games with their communities. I do remember something actually though with Animonia. If you rip the rip them apart, they last longer. How do, I, how do I do it again? That's right, of course. Oof. So you're definitely better off legging it. I know that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, see? Body didn't even... Body didn't last that long. Not long at all. Glad I did rip a leg off. Hopefully I can pick my leg up and not glitch out because there are sort of little bugs around the legs I've noticed. Thinking on my head towards the center, towards the snow. Go hang around there for a bit. Possibly. I drank some water, soaked in the moments and moved on. Night's coming, so I'm gonna buckle down somewhere half decent out here. Nothing worse than running around in the night time. Cool. Why can I not pick the leg up? It's bugged out now. It's bugged out. Oh, am I bugged out now? My little bit of meat was bugged out, so I went out hunting, and that's when I bumped into a huge pack of leopards. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's way too many leopards, man. I will not survive that. <laughs> not at all, man. No way. There was like five leopards. Two will, two will kill me. Without a problem. Five? I'll just be cleaning their teeth. I've been running around all day. There's nothing. Where is everybody? All I've seen is other lions and leopards. Oh, have I had to keep my head down from them too? God damn. There's like a small elephant or something. That's what I really... Oh my god. Speak of the devil. An elephant? On the other side of the river. I wasn't exactly sure of its growth, but it didn't matter. My mind had been made up, and I was gonna hunt. Oh, you're my own friend. Sorry, buddy. Looks like a sub. Ooh, he just got a kick on me, too. Yeah, he's only small. He's gonna die. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're perfect. Man, I'm rusty fighting elephants. Let's get a kick out of him. One more, maybe? He's only a sub. Oh! He's giving me a good friggin' fight, no. <laughs> he's doing so well. I can probably just tank him. Oh, I'm half elf. Ouch. Damn, he's doing well. I just can't even connect anywhere. <laughs> I haven't fought an elephant in forever. Like he's not full grown, I'd have no hope. There we go. That's more like it. So just sitting next to him. Can I try break check me. Cool. Damn. He must be close. He must be. He's hanging in there, though. Is he coming for the water? Maybe. Is he full grown? Nah, he's got to be a sub, I think. Big sub. Might be full grown. I'm not sure. I haven't played an elephant in so long. Four, five months, something like that. I'm starting to think he's full grown. What I might have to do is heal up a bit. Because I do know elephants heal slow as. 
He's got so many blades on him now too, so that should be enough to finish him. But yes, he's put up much more of a fight than I thought he was going to. I thought he was a sub. But I think it's a fresh female adult. Very small tasks. Leading out. Oh, he went for the back. There we go. Good fight, Elephant. GG, my man. You did wicked. <laughs> you did awesome. I, I like... I got so beaten up, it's not funny. <laughs> he whooped me in many ways. Oh, that was cool and awesome. C got a good sized meal now. So I'll fill up and I'm gonna actually rip him apart. Maybe, maybe the elephant will last longer. Maybe, I sh maybe if you leg it, then it disappears quickly. I'm gonna experiment and not leg it and see what happens. Because I remember sitting by bodies and they did last ages. And if you leg them, then they disappear. That's how it used to work originally. So I'm going to do a bit of an experiment and find out. But first, make sure I get at least full stomach. Yeah, we're soon going to find out exactly how long they last. See, I've got a feeling that they last... Oh, never mind. Take that all back. I should have legged it. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a mistake. But I do know now. So yeah, if you want your bodies to last and be safe, because I'm now got no security and I'm like less than half health, I'm gonna get away from here. But yeah, like I was saying, if you want your bodies to last, you gotta leg them. Otherwise, they'll disappear. Like, within a few minutes, pretty much. I think that lasted maybe five minutes. After losing my body, I found myself a safe and secure place. A place I could sit down and recover from my wounds, and even reflect on the fights I've just had, because there is always a lesson to learn from everything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, you know what you gotta do. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.